This evening we're going to talk about uh, blood sugar regulation. Uh, it's everything from hypoglycemia, prediabetes, to diabetes. How many people have heard of prediabetics? Prediabetics, you've heard of that? And so really there's no big deal with that, right? You just wait till you get diabetes? No, that's not really true. Once you're prediabetic, you're already way down the road of having problems. So really if you think about it, this whole thing is about sugar regulation. I have so many slides to go over this, but let's just go through it. Now if you look at this, how many of these things can you readily identify with? Look at brain fog. Do you know what brain fog is? That's where you're just like trying to think of something. What was that I was thinking about? I was concentrating. I missed it. Nobody has that, right? Yeah. So that's actually a common, call, a common thing. Nervousness. One of the things that we see when people have low blood sugar, a lot of times they'll get the jitteries. And guess what makes them feel better? Eating. So they eat it. They get the blood sugar. Sugar comes back up. They feel, they feel better. Cold sweats, this is kind of like you're, uh, now you're way down, dip down, and, and this is a symptom. People sometimes can pass out. Depression. How many people realize that you can have depression from having low blood sugar or blood sugar dysfunction? Now think about this. The brain needs energy to be able to work. You'd agree with that, right? So what does it use? It uses sugar. So if it doesn't have sugar, guess what it doesn't do good? Nothing. <laughs> it doesn't do anything good when it doesn't have a proper amount of sugar. So therefore, uh, neurotransmitters can get off, different things can come off, and you can have things like depression, you can have things like fatigue, uh, you can have uh, uh, just lots of different things. Memory loss, there's a lot of things that can happen when the brain's not working that well. And you know what? Even bipolar disorders. And you say, you mean bipolar disorders could all be from just having low blood sugar? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Absolutely. So in this clinic, if you really want to wrap it up, what we really do well in this clinic is we go through and try to identify those elements that aren't working right that's producing the problem. If somebody has a condition of diabetes, we don't just get on the bandwagon of, okay, let's give the diabetic diet and see how it works. We get and start investigating what's the underlying factors, factors causing this person not to be able to regulate their sugars normally. Does that make sense? That's really what we want to do. Uh, fatigue, tremor, nausea, mood swings. Mood swings, people who have a lot of mood swings. Uh, this can be a blood sugar dips or blood sugar problems. Anxiety, poor coordination, weakness, irritability, inability to concentrate. We talked a little bit about that. Uh, migraines, PMS, melancholy, PMS. There are a lot of ladies who have problems through their menstrual cycle. It's just simply blood sugar related. And let me just tell you a little hint right here. That if you have blood sugar problems, and you go into menopause, the way you come out of menopause is going to be a lot rougher than if you fix that before you go into menopause. Does that make sense? How you make that transition into menopause has a lot to do with how well you're going to do through that process. And there's some fundamental foundational issues, I like to call them foundational issues, that if you don't have them right, they can cause you problems. Blood sugar, if you have anemia, if you have a chronic infection, if your liver's congested, if your adrenals aren't working, there's a number of things that if they're not working right, they can cause you not to go through these processes properly. But guess what? Guys don't go through menopause, but we go through something called andropause, which there are hormone shifts that take place as well. So how well we do that, and a lot of times, a lot of times how well men age with testosterone levels and so on and so forth, have a lot to do with how things like their blood sugar is working. Can be other elements too, but blood sugar is a major major thing. Speech difficulties, rapid heartbeat, digestive disturbances. If you have a blood sugar problem, you have a gut problem. So we have to fix the gut if you have a blood sugar problem. That's all there is to it. It's all related and we'll go through this how that works. Insomnia. If you are having blood sugar problems, what will happen is, is your blood sugar can dip in the middle of the night and your brain will be like, hey, wake up, wake up, wake up. I need some energy and so it wakes you up and then you don't sleep good. Uh, there can be other reasons why you don't sleep but that certainly can be one and we've really helped a lot of people get regular sleep at night just by simply fixing blood sugar issues. Can you imagine that? 